question number 22 the position vectors of a and b are negative 4 6 and negative 8 2 respectively point m is the midpoint of a b and point n is the midpoint of o a part a of the question find one vector a b so we're going to do it um question after the question so let's begin with the uh, part one before we go to the other question so given the position vectors of a and b they're given there so what you require to get in the first part of the question that is a1 is vector a b now how do you get vector a b now we get vector a b by if a and b are position vectors meaning they are vectors that come from the origin they are vectors with reference from the origin and the origin is point o which is zero zero uh, to get a b therefore we need to take uh, vector o b subtract vector o a that is supposed to do it and um, it's going to give vector o b the position vector of b will be negative eight two then subtract the position vector of a which is o a uh, which is uh, negative four six this gives uh, negative eight negative subtract negative four we get uh, positive four then two subtract six so this will give um, negative four negative four so that is vector a b negative four negative four now let's go to the other part of the question the coordinates of point m and n now look at uh, point m point m is the midpoint of a b so let's begin with getting m so m is the midpoint of a b so now we have uh, a b we need to get m now to get m to get m we need to take um, a b and this one we have a uh, point a we write a in coordinate form and a in coordinate form is uh, we go back here where we have a a is negative four six negative four six then b b is negative eight two these are um, the coordinates they're going to use to get the midpoint of a b which is m how do you get the midpoint? Midpoint is given by this formula. This is the formula for getting the midpoint. x1 plus x2 divided by 2. y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Where x1, we're going to take a negative 4 as x1. This is x2. This is y1. Uh, this is, um, I'm sorry. This is um, y1. This is uh, x let me delete this so this is x2 y2 so to get the midpoint uh, that is m the midpoint of a b uh, this one therefore will be given by so m will be given by x1 which is a negative 4 plus negative 8 divided by 2 and then y1 which is 6 plus y2 divided by 2 uh, this will give a negative 4 plus this will be negative 12 divided by 2 uh, which is uh, negative 6 so negative 6 then 6 plus 2 this is 8 divided by 2 which is 4 so that is point m now let's go and get the midpoint of n the midpoint uh, that is a uh, n which is the midpoint of oa n is the midpoint of oa so we need to get oa so oa oa will be given by a we have a position vector of o which is the origin zero zero and then we have uh, a and uh, which is a negative four six so to get the midpoint of OA which is N we need to take the coordinates of O which is 0 0 and then we have um, the coordinates of A which is negative 4 6 again what we've done again here so we shall have this one is x1 this y1 this x2 y2 so N therefore will be given by 0 plus negative 4 divided by 2 
and then 0 plus 6 divided by 2 and these will give um, negative 2 and this is 3 so we have already given now the coordinates of uh, m which is there and the coordinates of n we have had we're done with that now let's go to part c the magnitude of nm the magnitude of nm now to get the magnitude of nm we need to get the coordinates of n which is a negative 2 3 and m uh, which is uh, negative 6 4 having the coordinates of m and n now we can get uh, nm to get now vector nm uh, this one will be given by om minus on and uh, position vector of m which is om will be negative 6 you read this one in cord in column form subtract on which is negative 2 3 and these um, will give negative 6 plus 2 and this is uh, 4 subtract 3 uh, this one will give a uh, negative 4 1 to give negative 4 1 so the vector nm therefore vector nm therefore is uh, 4 1 now to get the magnitude to get the magnitude now the magnitude uh, this is what we do we get the square root of we take a uh, negative 4 we square that then we add 1 squared this will give uh, the root of 16 plus 1 which will be the root of 17 so that is the magnitude the root of uh, 17 so if we get the root of 17 uh, the root of 17 this would be 4.123 4.123 units that is how supposed to get the magnitude nm by first getting the vector nm and then we get the magnitude or the modulus and the last part of the question which is um, the coordinates of a point c is 2a vector ca is parallel to vector ob determine the value of a now there's something that you need to note here um, if two vectors are parallel uh, if vector c a is parallel to vector ob then it means that these vectors are multiples of each other and there exists a scalar between the two so these two uh, scalar they are scalar multiples or there exists a scalar between the two vectors that means they are parallel so if two vectors are parallel then they must satisfy that one condition both of them must be scalar multiples of each other now how do we write these uh, we can let the scalar that will exist between ca and ob to be represented by k or any other letter so therefore uh, we can say ca since ca is parallel to ob then ca uh, is equals to uh, scalar we introduce the scalar ob this means that they are parallel that ca is a multiple of ob now when we get this uh, scalar it will be very important because it is going to give us to see us to get the value of a now we need to get vector ca vector ca will be obtained by oa minus oc so let's go back to oa uh, oa oa is um, given by is here or negative 4 6 negative 4 6 be negative 4 negative 4 I'm sorry this is negative 4 6 subtract oc uh we already given here the coordinates of point c are 2 a so vector the position vector of c will be 2 a written in column form now this should give vector c so negative 4 negative 2 this is a 6 tv and this will give negative 6 then 6 minus a so that is the vector ca then for vector ob we already have these so you don't need to calculate these ob ob should be here it should be somewhere here negative 8 2 negative 8 2 so this is uh, negative 8 2 
Now having these two now, uh, we have uh, OB and uh, CA. We can now substitute here. Uh, CA therefore, I can use this. We can say that um, CA, which is um, negative 6, 6 subtract A is equals to a uh, certain scalar. Now look at uh, K O B. There is a K O B and O B is negative 8, 2. So this one should give uh, negative 6, 6 subtract A is equals to multiply everything by K. This will be negative 8 K and this uh, will give 2 K. Now comparing the two, we have negative 6 is equals to negative 8 K. So K will be three quarters. K will be three quarters. Um, if K is three quarters, then um, if we pick uh, now this one, that is here, uh, 6 subtract A is equals to 2K. 2K, so 6 subtract A is equals to 2 times. Uh, K is three quarters. So we have 6 subtract A is equals to multiply this you get 3 over over 2 you got this side and then uh, from here from here we shall have um, a as um, 6 minus 3 over 2 and therefore a will be 4.5 or 4 and a half and that is how we're supposed to get uh, the value of C the value no the value of a to the value of a so that is how you're supposed to solve that question